In this video, I will show you how to install our Bedrock, my library for the analysis and modification of Minecraft Bedrock worlds. We will be installing four things in order to get our Bedrock package working. First thing we're going to install is R. R is a software package for statistics and the analysis of data. It's very sort of popular in data science, uh, scientific computing, especially in my field, which is computational biology. And um, so we're going to install the R Windows version. So once you downloaded it and you clicked install, do yes, and um, wait for things to go. Um, we're just going to install the defaults here. Um, the reason why I use R for um, my library is I enjoy R. Um, it has a lot of um, power, it has a lot of features, it has a great positive community, and I think it's sort of important to write. Um, I think it's sort of helps to write packages for this um, program. The next package we're going to install is RStudio, which is a um, sort of a pretty interface on top of R that makes it a bit easier for new users. So, um, so we're going to download this and click the exe to install it. I'll just wait a bit. Click, click again, okay. now once that's going, that's going to install, and um, then after that, we'll be installing our tools in CMake, which are two packages needed to compile our Bedrock. Our Bedrock is currently a um, developmental package. So you can't download it the way you will other R libraries, um, but it is easy to download once you sort of have the prerequisites installed. Next up is R Tools, so we're going to download the R Tools installer. R Tools is a developmental environment for compiling R packages on Windows, so it's kind of necessary to get um, our Bedrock compiled and installed on. A Windows system. So what you're seeing here is me installing these four tools on a fresh Windows system, and so uh, everything is sort of what you would need to do if you've never installed R, R Studio, or install any packages. So the last package we're going to install is CMake. Um, CMake is a environment for configuring software. I use it in a lot of my software um, and um, some of the software that is used, some of the external software that is used in our bedrock uses CMake. Um, this makes it easier to configure the um, external software to run on um, Windows. So we're going to get this installed and then after that we'll be ready to run our studio. Open the installer. Next. Next. Add it to the path for all users. It gets easier. Next. Um, then click install. That is finished. We are now going to um, 
see, we're gonna open up our studio. And we're gonna install a couple of packages that'll help us work with our bedrock in the future. Let's install our bedrock and um, analyze data from it. So our studio is, like I said, an environment we're working with R. So you have the console, which is the primary R interface. And then you have, um, so the console is the primary R interface. And you have a panel for files and a panel for the environment and other things. Um, we'll get to these in other tutorials. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type the command install packages tidyverse. Tidyverse is a set of packages that makes it really um, user-friendly to do sort of data analysis jobs in R. And so a lot of the work with R Bedrock is data analysis. Where are your spawners? Where are your hard-coded spawn areas? Where are your hard-coded spawn spot? That kind of stuff is what um, I'm focusing our bedrock on right now. There's also functions to search for blocks um, if you want to find out where your diamonds are or other special blocks. That is possible to be done. Once, once Tidyverse installed, we're going to install another package called um, DevTools. DevTools is a package that's going to allow us to install um, our bedrock from GitHub where the code is stored. So we're going to install DevTools, and um, when this is complete, we're going to install our Bedrock. Now we're going to go visit the our Bedrock GitHub page, um, and that is um, also linked to on my channel. And so this is the GitHub page where the source code is kept. Um, there's a README that shows you how to install it on R. Um, and right now we've already installed DevTools, so we just need to, to run the install GitHub command. And we're going to copy this command, and we're going to make one little change to it. So if you're installing on a fresh R, we need to pass the option install ops equals no multi-arch. This will prevent a, um, and it's the installation to fail due to an error at this stage. Eventually we'll I'll work around that and there won't be a need to pass that option, but for now, if you're installing our Bedrock after this video, you will need it. So this will configure the pack. This says this is downloaded the package from the internet. It has configured it. Now it's compiling it and it's setting it up to um, be loaded into R. So that's it, you're done. Our bedrock is installed and we're ready to play with it. So here's a sort of a short example of what you can do. Uh, so to load our bedrock, we do library our bedrock. Um, we can then say do list worlds. This will list all the worlds linked to by the folder, the name, etc. So we're gonna copy this one and we're gonna load the, da the database. So Bedrock stores its information in a database, and um, so we're going to load the database with that folder. Once that's loaded, we can say access all the keys. So the database is a key that has key value pairs. So we're going to load up all the keys. Now, there's, now keys is a list of all the records stored from the game. This includes chunk data. This includes data about players, about villages. Everything is now stored um, in those keys. So we can now parse the chunk keys to see um, what kind of chunk data there is. And we see that we get we get uh, an object that has information about keys, the chunk coordinate, which dimension the key is in, and the tag. So when we're done, we got to close the database to make sure everything is properly saved, and um, we're it. We're done. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope you find this tutorial useful.